This is Dave and Chuck the Freak's Tasty Bits Podcast. I'm going to try something here. There's uh, this columnist that people ask for advice. You know, much like Ask Dave and Chuck the Freak, but this person is named Prudence. (laughs) And I want to read you an email that a guy sent to her. Prudence. And compare our response to Prudence's. I'm sure Prudence has a better response, response. right? Prudence is probably a trained professional. Probably. Yeah. That's my guess. But here's what uh, Prudence was asked. This guy said, my wife and I are almost 30. We've been friends since we were teenagers. Married at 22. Neither of us has dated anyone else. But now I'm questioning that. Mm. My wife had her gallbladder removed four years ago. Her doctor gave her a long list of foods to avoid which she completely ignored. She continues to consume large amounts of dairy, a big glass of milk at breakfast, another at dinner, butter, cheese on everything, ice cream almost daily, as well as greasy pizza and fast food, fried foods, red meats. She's always been prone to digestive issues, but now she has foul explosive diarrhea. Yeah, this is a big lady, too. <laughs> five, a big to, lady. five to six times a day. Yeah, that's a big lady. Oh, that's too many, my lady. We live in a small <laughs> apartment where I can't Indeed. avoid hearing and smelling it, even if she does have time to close the bathroom door, which she doesn't always. Oh, I can smell no, your she doesn't diarrhea. close the bathroom door? Oh, and I hate it. <laughs> Our bathroom is permanently nasty, and it is oh, not no. me. She laughs at it and insults me for being grossed out at her. She has soiled herself at work. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. And instead of being mortified, talks about it like it's a joke. Huh. The end result is a total loss of any desire I might still have had for sexual relations with her. Yeah. We haven't had sex in almost two years, and she doesn't seem bothered by it at all. The longest time, she just got mad at me anytime I'd suggest her diet would be causing the issues for us. Shit it! <laughs> Give me my ice cream. Get out of here, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she like farts while she's yelling. <laughs> Soils herself. Oh, you made me pee my painting. <laughs> Uh, just now, she oh. finally blew up at me and said that she knows it is. She just loves food too much to change her habits, and she's yeah, never going to change. It's a big well, lady. I am disgusted and baffled. I just can't fathom how anyone would knowingly choose to live like this. Man or woman. Would know? I be justified in leaving someone who has no regard for her health and deliberately makes herself repulsive? That's what he asked Prudence. Yeah. What is it? She was probably like, you need to find your inner strength. And yeah. Like, those, those fouls, you got to really. Your those, gal's those, gross, bud. Yeah. <laughs> She's never going to change. Nope. And the next dude with his boner will get killed, too. Don't oh, you think. The next dude. You can't be diarrhea person. And no. But I feel really like a lady somebody. that's like okay with two years of no sex, like she's not in, like uh, there's something r- really wrong. And she's what? 30? How old are they? Yeah. They are almost 30. They're not even 30. They've been married not since 22. 30, yeah. But I mean, imagine wow. just, and he's probably got di- diarrhea life and you're 28. <laughs> I mean, that's tough. I don't but want diarrhea but life. But she could like change it and she doesn't mm. want yeah, to. Yeah, I know, I know. So. I mean, he comes home and he's like, hey, babe. And she sounds like a truck driver in the bathroom. <laughs> Hold on. Hey. Oh, God. Dursen hey. again. Yeah. Got into the, 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 the pure dairy diet. Really doing it for you. Huh? Chocolate shake. With the door open. Yeah. Oh, she wow. just has crazy. no shame and poops at work and doesn't care. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, that would be the end of a career for a lot of people. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Like, if you poop at work, you're you're done. Like, yeah. you got to go. know someone that happened. She pooped at work. She left. Never came back. Yeah. I wonder um, if it's just happening to her at a, a too young of an age where she still, like, ha- doesn't feel the uh, the end coming. Like, I feel like mean? that. Well, you, you know, like, you th- when you're younger, you feel like you're going to, like, live forever and, like, you can handle all situations and maybe she's just thinking oh i can get through this i don't want to give up the stuff i love stuff will get better and 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 it'll be fine um and that's not how life goes it just continually gets 
tougher to deal with, right? She loves dairy more than sex in her 20s. And Me that's too, insane. though. I mean, I get that. Man, I do get you, it. Whatever, I now. mean, in your 20s? Tw- in your 20s? I, in your 20s. It was, it's, you did it's not love dairy sex. more than sex. <laughs> I made a lot of choices. <laughs> made a lot of bad choices in my 20s. I like both <laughs> sex and dairy. Yeah. I like <laughs> dairy sex. I mean, but like, too, if you were, had a problem with the dairy, yeah. you would pick sex of course, over yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ice cream or vagina? Yeah, one you know? thousand percent yeah. vagina. Okay, I'll cry. <laughs> I will yeah. weep and, and that's bawl. <laughs> how women feel too. Like that's your sex time. Like yeah. you don't. What? What are I you just, doing? It's a big lady. Uh, it's a food loving person that we're not. She's got to know We're how not gross she is, to. and just doesn't really care that much about him. No, that's absolutely she doesn't. It. Isn't that a sign she doesn't care about? Yeah. Him I would say she doesn't care about thinks. herself. Right, that would right. be the number one. Yeah. I think that she's just probably feels disgusting, feels gross. If you feel that way, you don't want to have sex. She probably feels like I, I can't beat this thing. I'm never going to beat this thing, so true. I'm just rolled. Well, that's well, how people easily feel. Thinks this thing. That's how people feel, though. I mean, she's just going to chill out on she... the dairy aisle. I don't I know. know. But, Listen, but dairy I, makes you feel good. You guys know I had my gallbladder taken out a couple years ago, and there's certain people that get incredibly affected by it, and then and there's other people where their system adjusts. And I'm lucky. you were devastated by it. You no, know, yeah. I'm lucky that I'm on that side of it, that, you know, my body regulates. I still, if I'm going to, if I know I'm going out for like, you know, a meal that may not be the healthiest. I you have to choose wisely, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. But I take some digestive enzymes right. that help you process that food. Right. There's things you can do where yeah. you don't have constant but diarrhea. She doesn't want to do. But those obviously, things. she doesn't. Are they married? Did you say? Yeah, they're married. They've been married since 22. They're almost oh 30. Oh my gosh. I just feel like, like in like a healthy relationship, you should both be trying at least a little bit to not destroy the sexual ability to be with each other through your grossness. Right. Yeah. yeah. Be like I mean, that's effort for that. Yeah. I feel like that was, it's the majority of the time. If I'm with somebody, that's what I'm doing. Listen, the majority of the time is trying to hold back my grossness. In right. 22 years, I have never pooped in front of my wife. Yeah. That's she good. has never pooped in front of me. Give it a whirl, man. <laughs> Like, like do doors are closed. I mean, everyone has to stuff? do their business. Yeah, everyone has, everyone has to do their time. business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would never like have the door and be like, "Hey, Amber, is it?" You know, no, like, <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy when if people do that, and we yeah. know people do that because they've called or texted. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're absolutely. just different. They just and some have people different. have this belief that that's a more comfortable relationship or something. But I just. Yep. I agree that you can be comfortable with each other, but also there can be some mystery, especially diary. Oh, your, anal mystery yeah, needs feces, to remain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's not go all <laughs> no, the some way. Anal mystery. Anal when people mystery. talk about it. I don't like, like an anal mystery. If you have like issues going on and you're in a relationship for a long time, people will talk about it and yeah. that's okay. Like, you know, yeah, it's just like Chuck talks about his stuff yeah, all the oh time God. on the show. So yeah. he's been talking about but, it. You, know, you can talk say about this. it, but you do it in private <laughs> like when i couldn't really tell when stuff was going to happen for me when i got on metformin it was messing me up real bad and i'm like any kind of exterior relationship that i had with anyone yeah. has been shut down for this whole en- entire time because Too risky um it was like i i can't tell you whether or not i'm gonna have to like leave at some point i can't go even if it's metal detecting you know it's like guys i don't know if i can go somewhere for four hours you know yeah it's tough um and so it shuts it down and i mean she's probably in that type of mode now she's doing nothing to help herself and that to me is like I gotta like, be something about her. He said it in like kind of the sweet way, like you know, like take it easy on the dairy. Like he's probably like this is like he's probably just got to be like you're grossing me out, right? Yeah, and I can't. I'm, I'm well, sexually revolted by you. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, and they don't have sex. They're not even they thirty years. You know, at the same time, I believe she probably already thinks that she's probably already like you're sexually revolted by me. You don't love me, of course. You know, and. So then you're just going to say, I'm sexually revolted by you. I don't love you. Like instead of so my I I would assume that prudence or whatever is going to be like uh, you guys need to get into some kind of place where you're both talking to someone else about everything. And because he's going to end up just verifying the stuff that her mind, which is like poisoning her life 
is thinking. Here's what Bruden said, and this is pretty similar to what we said. Uh, this isn't all about the poop, because that would have been enough for me. But in fact, I don't think you would care as much about the poop if it was something she couldn't help or struggled with, or it was a rare occurrence. The issue here is the clear disregard for your experience of your shared space or intimate contact. I'm not sure why your partner is satisfied to live in a way that is painful and obviously repulsive, but that's her choice. Your choice now is not about whether or not you can live with the smell. It's about whether or not you can live with someone who doesn't care about you and the fact that you have to live with the smell. You do not need anyone to justify your leaving. You can leave just because you want to go. Good advice, Prudence. Prudence. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty similar to ours. Yeah. Pretty similar, but yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah it all adds up. This woman has just, like, she's okay with being a monster. She really is. Yeah. She just... <laughs> uh, this woman said, I'm 27, and I would pick ice cream over sex because men my age don't know how to have sex. Oh. Oh. That's sad. You just haven't well, met the no. right person. Men my age also, we still what don't know how guys, to have sex. So. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are Apparently you, not a lot. What, you guys, what is the 20-year-old uh, men doing? What do they 20s? want now, though? What are they? Uh, have expectations been What's resurprised? Happened? Have have sexual expectations been risen by porn in a female's mind Probably. Uh, at the same time now? Because that's what I wonder. If it's like, if you're not... Oh, if it's not RJ's, I was going to say like a twenty-seven-year-old dude's probably like wants that. Oh man, like it's a it's a big huh. selling point mm-hmm. when uh, you talk to someone. They're like, "I'm willing to do this." Wow. Okay. That's well, that means bad. you've done that with everybody. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Don't give up, twenty-seven-year-old. There's no, guys out there that, be someone that can, can please you and want to please you. I'm sure you just have not found the right guy. Uh, someone said, my fiance and I have six, have six years. Don't close the bathroom door when we use it because we have a cat that will scream at the top of his lungs oh, if you do. I have that now or two. If the door is closed out of humanity, we have to leave the door open and just naturally adapt to it. I have like the constant drumming. Like when I take a shower, I hear a constant drumming. It's like I'm in the Cleveland Indian Stadium. Old school. Tommy What's he? He's just pounding on the door. Yep, that's him. Just his paws. Boom, 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 <laughs> he's got that. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you just let him in? Because I'm in the shower. So oh, I am in the shower. Leave and the door a little bit open for him. Boom, 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 boom. But you don't like? Why no, can't you just have, hang out in the bathroom? It's all the heat. I have the heat, all the I know. Heat. Yeah, I keep it in there. I got go. a little heater I get in there. Yeah. I close it up. I got that little. It's like a little sauna for me. Boom, 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 Can you just boom, invite boom, him in and then close the door while he's I hanging out? I do, like when I get out of the shower, but and he knows, but he's just letting me know for the whole that time. full 10 minutes. Like, I am <laughs> what, just what are you doing playing the there? bongos out here, you know? He's got that uh, biscuit stamina. He does, <laughs> he does, he does. He just... <laughs> He, he all nighty. He's, he's like, like I could be all day. <laughs> like, I'm John Bonham back here. Uh, this person said, my ex would crap with the door open in our one bedroom apartment and then wonder why I didn't want to have sex with him. Hmm. Yeah. Close the damn door, people. I mean, honestly, what's wrong with you? Close the damn door. Yeah. yeah. That's it's your time. Pray, do all the things that show that you respect that other person. Yeah. Like, I just, hide yeah. it a little bit. I'll always protect. I have traveled <laughs> with poop spray my whole life i've never traveled with it but well because i'm sharing it in my that's when you're <laughs> that's when you're closest you're well, probably in the closest yeah, sharing quarter a sometimes in a hotel room yeah. and stuff yeah yeah i'll just not deuce yeah no. you're always said uh, lobby lobby or not you'll lobby. get over that eventually yeah i just would never i don't know like my i'm i i just assume i'm so gross at my best so like what you're basically there's saying no is room for error. yeah there's no yeah <laughs> why risk it like, yeah. why risk it? I get that. I do. This uh, lady says, I'm 31 years old. Just like the other lady, I'm really not interested in having sex at all. I just haven't enjoyed it. That's sad. It <laughs> really is sad. I mean, sex is not everything, but sex is great. And so That's you... like things that you hear when people get older. Like, they don't want to have yes, sex as much, not but not at, at 31. Not at that That's age. Your here's, peak. here's the other thing, too. Like, um, sex isn't always... It's not always like this, like going to Cedar Point, like going to some amusement park. It's not. But there is a closeness 
that brings you it intimacy. provides right. in your life Absolutely. a betterness right. into your life that it provides. And when you don't have it and are not having it, it's like you are missing out on something. I think that people, they so women will take like a romantic movie and they think that it has to be like that. And men will take a porn yes. and think it has to be like that. Yep. And you have these expectations when just... You're right. It's just it's a, more normal. It's, it's just, just have, more. It's not supposed to be like mm. I don't know. It's supposed to be good, right? And enjoying that closeness, right. like you said, but right. it's not like do your a best. movie. Like do your best. Like still do it. Right. And Everyone do, and do your best. Do your best. But right, it's right. like you know, it's not like book talk or whatever for the ladies out there. It's not like that. It's not like these fantasy novels. And guys, it's not like those chicks that do porns. Like they get paid to. Right. Make you think that it's got to be that way. Yeah, you know? but I think that's probably a big part of it. We're exposed to more stuff now than we ever have been and expectations may be off the charts when that's just not reality. Yeah, it yeah. can't be like that every time. And if you're usually, not a brooding, mysterious man who <laughs> has a torture d- dungeon yes. in your basement, like you're not cool enough sometimes. So and right. usually just the way <laughs> that you're attracted to someone is enough. Yeah. Like if you like have a huge attraction, it's like, wow, well, okay. That's yeah, a, that's, that's enough. enough. Yeah. Right. Um, someone said, listen, I'm a guy that will shut the door after having to crap in front of men for two years in prison. Oh, man. Oh, man. I appreciate oh, that alone time. That is like the oh, worst boy. thing when they talk about that, that part of prison. Like, just I can't imagine a man just staring right into my eyes. And <laughs> that's at least, well, stop it. And imagine like you're in a cell with a dude that like could kill you. That's and you're it. Like, and he's like, don't you dare ever deuce in here. Oh, and yeah. Like, and like, I won't. <laughs> He's in yeah. the infirmary again. Yeah. <laughs> like there's no hotel lobby in uh, prison. I right. mean, yeah, that's a, Andy, you'd have to go, right? You'd, you'd have no choice. <laughs> right. It's just, uh, I cannot imagine. You'd have to wait for the scariest man on earth to like go do something where you knew he was going to be gone. For and then minute. you would have to push like nothing you could ever imagine. This guy said, I'm 42 Childbirth. years old. I live in a two-bathroom house. When I wake up in the middle of the night, I know my wife is dead asleep. I still use the bathroom at the other end of the house. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, pee is all right. I mean, if you oh, yeah. Pee, oh, sure. Right. Right. But if he has yeah. Yeah. You, something Dropping else. a dude, middle of the night deuce. Oh, man, I don't know if I... I don't think I've ever really just done a middle of the night deuce. I, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, deuce in middle of the night deuce. Is, yeah. an emergency. Right. Something's, something's gone wrong. Something's, yeah. something's gone wrong. Yeah. I was dealing with those, and they're... <laughs> when, you, when they wake you up... Yeah. What is it? Yeah, there's, no time, there's no time to slither no. out of bed. Oh, no. no. Can't oh, you like, can't do that move. Yeah. Can't no, slither no, out of bed. That's too risky. You gotta, that's too I'm risky. like uh, Usain Bolt. <laughs> but with uh, my butt clenched. <laughs> like the fastest. <laughs> yeah, middle of the night poop generally is whew, panic situations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was good. Wrong. But that's nice, too, that you still think that way. And hey, for the people out there that aren't, there's you just haven't met the right person. Don't give up on sex. And that might just be it. You know, Lise, like you said, like some of these people are, I don't know if you're just settling in life or what you're doing, but you're not like finding a person that you're attracted enough to. Yeah. I think that there's a lot of like uh, a disconnection between reality and what l- real life is and what a, like a fantasy life in your head is. Right. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's affecting people. I think that people are like, you know, I'm not. I think chicks are watching porn too. Yeah, sure. They are. Yeah, and yeah, they're, they they're, are. They're, they're like, yeah. I want this kind of stuff. And yeah. dudes are like, I'm more of a missionary kind of legs up. Yeah, there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that's it. The yeah. amount of people that want to be tied up <clears throat> and have their ass kicked. Yeah, it's like whoa. Like, whoa, crazy. But it's something is pointing them Mm -hmm. in that direction. So someone said when poop wakes me up, I jump out of bed like the parents in Home Alone. That's it. (laughs) You got to get up. (laughs) You got to. Hopefully no one has had that happen to them soon. But uh, yeah, so there you go. That's the uh, the poop debacle that guy's dealing with. And hopefully he leaves her because she sounds like a real filthy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, so were they married? Yeah, yeah they're married. married. They are married, huh? Yeah. Got married too young. It's like, married that's like 22, the worst thing that you could, you could have go is like your, your, you know, sexual drive with each other. Yeah. Like that's where it all falls apart. Yeah. Download Dave and Chuck the Freaks Tasty Bits podcast on iTunes or Google Play. 
Leave a rating for Dave and Chuck the Freak's Tasty Bits podcast on iTunes or Google Play. Which celebrity out of this list just claimed, I'm proud that I'm not all natural? Meaning they've never had work done. Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Martha Stewart. Taylor Swift. Paris Hilton. Kate Beckinsale. Or Miley Cyrus. Well, they've all had work done. <laughs> Every single well, one of them okay, has had work done. Okay, then which one claimed she didn't? Martha. It yeah. was not Martha. Oh. Uh, Amazingly. Jennifer Aniston? No, God, okay. she's had so much no, work done. Yeah, yeah. She admitted it, I thought. It. Paris Hilton oh, claims oh. that she is all natural. She just sat down and did an interview where that's what she said. Here you go. I believe everything she said. <laughs> <laughs> Stay listen here. Yeah? Yeah. You're working on it? Yeah. It's working. Thank you. It's Benjamin Button. It's really impressive. Thank you. Science is crazy. For I feel really proud that I'm all natural. I've stayed out of the sun. I've never done any Botox, injectables, no surgery, nothing. She's definitely done Botox. And what? My mom told me, like, when I was eight years old, Paris, stay out of the sun. And then she taught me this amazing, like, 10-step skincare routine. So I've literally been doing that since I'm eight. And I've also built a spa in my house called the Sliving Spa. And it has, like, <laughs> the most name. epic, like... Light like re- LED lights, facial hydrofacial machines, uh, hyperbaric chamber, cryotherapy. Like oh. it's basically like a a real spa that you're you gonna, would like see. You're gonna live forever. Yeah, that's the plan. She's lying. So oh my god, right? much. Yeah. her forehead doesn't job? move. Yeah, probably. She's definitely had injectables. 1, at least 000. Botox. Yeah, percent. There's no way. <laughs> Don't you feel like her lips have been done? Yeah. You know? That yeah. host catering to her made oh. that made me nauseous. Yeah, he just... <laughs> I got mm-hmm. an actual he's, nausea from it. <laughs> he's just happy anyone's on his thing, and I'm sure he knows them all, but... Just gives them a... I just built a spa, and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just normal stuff, huh? You just stay out of the sun. You're a real nut. You're a real nut. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at the side-by-side. What didn't they zap that eye back to? They... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it almost looked like they... Oh, well, no, it's not doing too great there. No. I'm um, still the... She doesn't look like she had a nose job, does it? You don't think so? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think she's had much work done, but I, I, she's definitely had some. Yeah, I don't know. The thing about her, it's tough to just, like, for me to just look at her and be like, that is a, uh attractive woman. No, I agree. Because... I've never found her attractive. She's been just so annoying. Yeah. yeah, but now, like, I know it was half an act, like, and I almost feel like even sitting down there and her talking to that guy, it's half an act. You know, she's just like, you know, I'm going to say I'm totally all. Yeah, she's just like in all character. natural. But yeah, in the same way, I've never found her attractive, really. I'd never had a thing for her. Hmm. But I mean, that nose side by side looks completely pretty, different. She's but, pretty, but. Yeah, like one, the nose in one is going up and then one is going down. Yeah, it's funny because mm-hmm. now they're everyone's turning oh, them yeah. back up, right? That's the new thing, right? Turning them up. She turned hers down. Anyway, it's all BS. There's yeah. no way that's legit at all. The idiot criminal of the day. Now, in this guy's defense, he probably was so amped up on caffeine he couldn't drive slower. But a 33 year old guy in Missouri named Anthony Simpson. Stole a shopping cart full of Red Bull the other day. Well, you full understand to the it. brim. You can understand it. Mm. And Quite then expensive. led cops on a high speed chase. Mm. Yeah. Woo! Wasn't going to be slow speed. Uh, <laughs> he walked out of a Schnucks grocery store near St. Louis with over 500 bucks worth of Red Bull in his cart. Some cops saw him pushing the cart through the parking lot and they knew who he was. Because he's done this before. Oh, it's his thing, yeah. In the past month, he's stolen stuff from several other grocery stores in the area. It's always Red Bull. <sighs> he is addicted. Got a problem. And yeah, he can't yeah. afford it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's tough. I mean, Andy, you can attest, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, our else. energy drink uh, <laughs> habit is uh, yeah. not the cheapest I'm thing. Like, Give me the sauce hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all the sauce yeah. hands. You understand? Yeah. Grape flavor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, it adds up. Yeah. It adds up. 
Well, he hopped in his car and took off as soon as he heard the siren. He hit speeds over 120 miles an hour while weaving through traffic and driving on the shoulder. He eventually crashed into a concrete barrier, but refused to get out of his car until they fired pepper balls at him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll stop it. That changes your mind. (laughs) Not even the Red Bull can cut through that. (laughs) (laughs) Their statement says, all resistance then ceased. Yeah, yeah. As it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you clam right up. Yeah, <laughs> pepper balls. Oh, man. Woo. This idiot is facing charges for theft, fleeing, and driving on a revoked license. His mugshot, if you want to check it out, will be up shortly at DaveAndChuckTheFreak.com. <laughs> We're down one person. We're doing our best over yeah, here. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Trying our best. We can't hear him still. Oh, shoot. That's my bad. <laughs> Definitely right. down one person. Yes. Yeah. Shortly. Shortly, it'll be out of there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there it is, though, for you guys to oh, check Oh, gosh. Out. He looks yeah. like he needs it. He's very tired. Right? He's yeah. tired. Yeah. dark just, circles under it. his eyes. Let him he have has it. to have it. Yeah, just let him have it. He's real <laughs> tired. Yeah, He's the I most mean, tired-looking man I've ever seen. He looks like he just got up, and he just did a robbery. Okay, here's <laughs> a question. Uh, <laughs> if you were just up because you drank so many Red Bulls, you would be tired, right? Even though, like, physically you're not, your body would be tired, but you're tricking it. Yeah. You know, because, like, right now, I'm exhausted. But you'd have no idea. Right. Because, because you're I tricking am your body. on magic juice. Right, mm-hmm. and I'm on coffee. Yeah. Yeah. If but I couldn't I'm so get coffee, tired. I'd be this guy stealing look, cart full of oh, like that guy. I'd probably look like him, too. <laughs> but I'd be stealing cartfuls yeah. of coffee to get it. Yeah. I need it. I gotta have it. I yeah, get it. I, problems. I mean, I do understand it. It is quite expensive, especially to buy it one at a time. Yeah. You know? Never been into Red Bull. Well, all the energy drinks, eh? I don't yeah. like the taste of it. No, I don't. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I remember... Uh, I would drink those boozy drinks with it sometimes. Where yeah. they mix it with Ye- a Jägerbomb. Yeah, Jägerbomb. Jägerbomb. Could you Jägerbomb here? Yeah, I used to have those quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, a case isn't cheap. It's like 45 50 bucks a case. Hmm. Yeah, so if you're drinking... You know, some people are drinking three, four, a shift, trying to, you know, get up on a roof and do some roofing. Mm-hmm. You know how many Red Bulls I'd need to roof? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I did, if they take energy drinks away from me, like I will have to get one of those rings with the coke in it. No, oh, no, yeah, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, they took us, they took the energy drinks away. That's why he's got that gold ring. Yeah, that's my coke. Look at ring. it, flips up. <laughs> Look at that big jewel. That's yeah. a big jewel. Yeah, yeah, that's sure he gets his energy drinks. Yeah, he's full. Oh, he's awake now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I could. I don't think I'd go coke ring. I guess maybe I'd go energy drink if I couldn't get coffee for some reason. There's yeah, a coffee I just go caffeine to. pill is what I do. Yeah. It's like uh, lower than Coke. They like uh, jittery. It they make me jittery. weird. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't like the like, feeling. Like, see, Red Bull did that to me. Red Bull made me jittery. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't bother me. There's a, mm. like, one, uh, like, there's natural caffeine. Oh, I'm yeah. A big, I'm a big believer in that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe tea. I just mm-hmm. do big cup of tea. The tea, natural tea. That's what I have tea right now. Yeah. Tea, like, never woke me up. No, it like, doesn't. I don't know, helps. I don't know it's what's in it. It's not as good as coffee, it, but... But it is not enough. No, but it is. I mean, the caffeine is comparable. I mean, I get what you're saying. Like, I could have tea before bed and go right to sleep. I cannot have coffee before yeah, bed. Yeah, right. me up. Yeah. It must be a different kind of caffeine or... There's I need less more coffee milligrams. right now. I love tea, though. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, right now, if we didn't have our stuff... I'm so tired. Like, we'd all be ready for bed. Yeah. I'm so yeah. ready. Well, I didn't get energy drinks. I'm drinking coffee. You I was going to say, I looked down there and I was like, oh, Is man. That that was? I didn't know Coffee was with in an there. extra shot of espresso, yeah. Look yeah. at you. Where'd went, you get that at? Our crazy it, coffee robot. We have that? Oh, yeah. yeah. We got a robot. Yeah. I should go. I the should finest Colombian coffee. coffee. Yeah. Don't look at the beans too long over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. They're hand mixed. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at those beans. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't. I, did, oh. I went one, one desperate day. I was like, yeah, I'll I'm just take it. Yeah. There's a guy that goes in there every once in a while and just gives him a nice hand crank. I'm sure that's what's happening in there. But like, loosen them. Got a screen on it that shows you action coffee drinking people that are like living crazy sweet lives, like oh. drinking their coffee, 
like alternative looking people just like carrying briefcases, what? going to business and drinking coffee. Alternative looking people. There's a computer in there. Yeah. I need to go check that out. Yeah, you gotta you watch it. Yeah, there's just like people. There's this one guy, he sits at his desk and he drinks coffee and has an orgasm. <laughs> this is what he looks like? Yeah. He's, he's got what? his feet up on the. I swear I to God, I'm like watching my coffee get made and there's just like this ad for the coffee itself. And this dude's got his feet up and he drinks his coffee and he's like, literally like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. god! I think that man just had an orgasm. <laughs> yeah, he finished. That man loves coffee. Oh my god! Our coffee machine has a simulated <laughs> orgasm. Yeah. It's got a screen. It's got a big it's got screen. A big screen and yeah. As your coffee is made, it shows you different people. I've in never Germany. looked at it. Oh, I had no idea looked. that that was there. It's wild stuff. Yeah. I've never once uh-huh. looked. Wild. I just get my energy drink and then leave. But mm-hmm. what are they doing? Are they trying to sell you on it? Because it's free, right? Like, yeah. I don't know why <laughs> they're doing it. Maybe some yeah. places well, people pay for it. I'm sure there are some businesses that charge their... I felt like it was like, a, while you're waiting, it's like it's like you're making the right choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Making this free coffee right now. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to go home. You can be productive. Right. right. Awesome. Stay here. We'll give you an orgasm. And I was like, I hope it gives me an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> and has it? No. 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 Yet, no does no. it taste like, good? No. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 it is nasty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, wait, no. Yeah. He's awake. Yeah. Shoot. Terrible. Yeah. And I did yeah. the same thing too. I think I did like double because I tried to sip and it was so weak mm. that I like double espresso shot. Well, that's what my my. I think the thing almost started smoking because I'm like dark roast, yeah. Yeah. extra strength. No. Do you know what this extra is going to do? Espresso, extra shot of espresso, extra shot of espresso. <laughs> we cannot do that. We cannot do that. Yeah, the like, beans are like <laughs> danger, danger. The, the dude drinking the coffee screen started. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. freaking out. No, he started breakdancing. He's glitching. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the guy just started. I'm like, whoa! It's too much. (laughs) That's hilarious that it would start picking different, like, little memes and stuff of, like, what the drink you've made is going to do to you. It's just like a guy, like, ah! (laughs) The guy being, like, electric in the electric chair. He's just like, ah! That's too many sounds of espresso! Oh, wow, you went full electric chair. I'm so awake! (laughs) I feel like I need an electric chair some days, though. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. We gotta we gotta get photos of that. It's people want to see this coffee orgasm, man. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll go. Yeah, back they're there. always right. uh, they're switching it up, and there are from time it's to time. It's a new one. We yeah. have a different one, and it's a, it's yes. a newer model. So. Yeah, pretty interesting over there. It is. <laughs> yeah, the coffee <laughs> isn't my game over there. I never even I never even pay attention to the coffee section. No. Yeah, I just don't even look. I never do. No, I get one, one day out of desperation. I've used the the ice maker there once because I forgot to bring my water in, and then the, one day I'm like, I just got to get a coffee. Well, it had an uh, iced coffee option, and that's what I got first. It was like I was like, ooh, iced coffee, very cool, and it was like, oh, you got to add your own ice. Oh, like I don't know where well, to get ice around. There's ice right there. there's ice right there. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a whole ice cooler. There's ice a maker. big problem. I don't know if you know this. I thought that was I, I heard tail. That was upstairs. No, it's right there. I don't know, right know. where no. anything is. <laughs> it is down there. There's Damn. like a little shelf that it gets uh, they, overwhelming in there. There's yeah, a lot uh, going on. There's a scoop. You got to use the scoop, and then you got to put the scoop. A lot of people used to work here. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, they've got these free cups, but there's a sign that's like probably shouldn't take a free cup if you work here. Oh, oh really? You there probably is? should have your own cup. Yeah, these might oh. be for guests. Oh. I was like, I gotta take them. <laughs> I, don't yeah, like, I don't have a cup. I don't have a cup. It's a last minute choice. Yeah, well, there's a suggestion there that's like probably shouldn't take that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> did anyone I did not see that? Did anyone come around the corner as as you were making it and look at your cup and just shake their head? I kind of like I have a shame when I oh, carry one of these yeah. cups. I've done it before. Yeah, you're like. You have a shame? Yeah, there's yeah. a shame. I'm like, I should have my own cup. <laughs> oh, look, you're just a guest. guest. Yeah, yeah, you're just a guest. There's a scumbag taking all the guest coffee cups. <laughs> yeah. Like we have guests. <laughs> yeah, no one gives a dare anymore. Oh, no, no, no. There's no one. There's no show to be on. Hey, listen, <laughs> it's not cool if someone's pissing in front of your place. Yeah. Right? It's no. not cool. But then also maybe size up the pissers. Could you take them? Right. If you were to say something to them. Because a restaurant owner in Maryland confronted two guys for peeing in front of his store, mm. so they beat the hell out of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's that story from CBS Baltimore. Caroline joins us now live at 11 o'clock. And Caroline, what are those other businesses saying tonight? Many of them on edge. 
That's right, Rick. And people we talked to were really devastated to hear what happened to the owner of Curb, a popular late night fast food spot in Towson. And this comes as business owners and other community members in the area say events like these are happening far too often. It's devastating, man. I'm surprised oh, no. to, to see no. that no. level of violence go on. A violent attack caught on surveillance video. <gasps> Police are still searching for the suspects who assaulted Masad Atari outside of his Towson restaurant curb last Sunday. I see there's two gentlemen here, one of them trying to urinate on the corner. It's $500 ticket. When Atari confronts them, the man in the lighter gray clothing finishes urinating on the business and immediately punches Atari before two others join in. And once he punched me, I grab him from his hoodie. We rolled on and I fall in between the two cars. He was on top of me. I was holding him. And then his other partner attacked my co-workers. During the assault, one of the suspects brandished a gun. Baltimore County Police arrived moments later, but the suspects were already gone. I'm glad I'm okay. People we spoke to say they're also glad that Atari, affectionately known as Mr. Curb, is okay. You know, he's like an immigrant. He's going to this country for a better life. And he has a successful restaurant. And then you're going to get attacked because some people were being outside. Atari moved to the U.S. from Iran in 2007. He has a wife and child and has owned Curb since 2014. Ronald Fry, who owns Jerk Hut Eatery next to Curb, okay. wants Atari to know that the community supports him. Been a great guy, great neighbor and everything. Uh, just, I hope he get well and continue to do his thing, serve the community and make Towson a, a great place. And the Baltimore County Police Department is working with local business owners to review surveillance footage that could help in identifying these suspects. But from some of the video that we just showed you, you can see their faces pretty clearly. So if you recognize them, please contact Baltimore County Police. She's got to get better at breathing. I she's got what's going she's, on. Is she going on? No, she's got that accent that's out there like that mm. uh, Kennedy's some of them have and uh, where, where it's like almost it's like almost rock. sounds like it's tough for them uh, to speak. I don't know where that is. I don't know where you're from when you have that tough to speak hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. But there is a there are people that talk like that. Hmm. That's <laughs> hard. <sighs> like it's a struggle. Yeah. Listen, don't mess don't piss at Borat's restaurant because no, he's not going to have it. Ball, but he's yeah, got to be better I prepared mean, to defend Those guys himself. kicked his ass. And well, they did. Oh, and they ruined so, his Hold phone. on. Let me just finish pissing before I kick the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He punched his phone right out of his hand, yeah. and then the other guy kicked it into the street. I'll never think the same about Baltimore because all I know about it is it's where the wire took place. Yeah, they, it's a dangerous town. It's like a it hard is, city. Yeah, no, it's, it a hard, it's a hard town. Yeah. Like you watch like, yourself there. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. You let people piss where they want to piss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless you're prepared to deal with them. Yeah, you got to let them finish. You got to let Omar finish or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. I mean, I, it sucks. You don't want people peeing. And he caught them on uh, camera peeing, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was this guy just like look out for his buddy peeing? No, it's a weird setup they got. Yeah, it's weird, huh? But they'll beat the hell out of you if you... You know what I don't like is back-to-back peeing. No, like, I'm touching butts with you while no. you're peeing? No, no, I mean, we can try it no, if you want to try okay. it. Hey, we're good. <laughs> that is a weird setup. I guess he was lookout, though. Like, hey, go pee there, and I'll make sure yeah. no one comes. Mm. That's weird. But then... Yeah, that sucks. I want to try both those restaurants. I feel like they, they do good work at both of the places. The Jerk Hut in there. Yeah, you want yeah. to mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I like the name Jerk Hut. I don't know. It sounds like it's <laughs> off-putting to me. Yeah. I, I like feel it. like someone pleasuring themselves. I like, like that. I like that it. Jerk flavored chicken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chicken. Jerk Hut. <laughs> Those crazy Canadians. Well, this older Canadian broad just made the naughty list. A 62-year-old woman didn't seem to be in the Christmas spirit when she slugged another lady... Enjoying the festivities at the annual Santa Claus Parade in St. Thomas, Ontario. I kind of get it. (laughs) The woman, I guess, became pissed when she sat her family down in front of this old broad's family. Oh, that They have been camped out there for over an hour already. Dude, people Mm. are unbelievable sometimes. They're so rude. That's such a rude thing to do. Oh, my God. (laughs) It's crazy. This grandma got into a dispute 
with a fellow parade goer who was, in her opinion, obstructing her family's view of the parade. So that's when she reeled back and punched her in the face, knocking her to the ground. Damn. Canada is changing. (laughs) The Saturday evening incident in St. Thomas, about 115 miles northeast of Detroit, landed that holiday slugger in handcuffs. The woman whose name or mugshot have not been released was charged. She was cut loose pending a future court date. The 38th annual parade, which this year had a theme of Christmas at the circus, kicked off at 6 o'clock Saturday evening. It carried on after the unfortunate scuffle. See, here's the thing. So I hate all this stuff. I hate just all of it. hate it. However, the times that I've been forced to do it, um, it's because like, oh, you know, you've got these little, little kids and your little, little kids uh, who enjoy just anything dumb. Uh, you bring them to this parade and you set it up so that they will have a memory that they will forget. A hundred percent. They're yes. going to forget. Yeah. Uh, but you think as a parent, everything is riding on this core memories. They're whore, you're, you're the, like the whole core memory of life. It, it's relying on this. And then someone sits in front of them. And they can't see. They can't see, and they don't have their memories. And I don't want to be here. I don't want to. You're already here. It's cold. It's cold. It's dumb. Santa's drunk. (laughs) Let's hope not. It Mm -hmm. is a bad time. But now you want to do this. You want to play games. You want to play games. You're going fisticuffs, dude. People are on edge. You're right. It's they camped out to see a Santa parade. Oh yep. God! In yes. St. Thomas, Ontario. Mm-hmm. Terrible. There's mm-hmm. nothing else How to do in St. Thomas. It could it have been terrible? I can't imagine how good it could have been. It's probably just. Oh, well, here's a picture of it. No, get ready. I mean, I, mean, I can't believe Santa they have home. a float. It's it's the worst thing you've ever seen. Float. I know they made this. <laughs> It's not worth slugging anyone. No, but the, she's too old to be like. Why is she grandma? It's yeah, probably, grandma. Kids? It's probably yeah. grandma. Yeah. Uh, do you know like a grandma? I come on now. Oh my! So they got some discount trees. <laughs> they glued yeah, them all that's on a, a trailer. It's there. a hayride that they turned into. I mean, it's some of the worst floats you've ever seen in your life. Oh, it's oh, handmade man. signs. <laughs> I look at that, Lise. <laughs> Take yeah. that in. Yeah. <laughs> Joy like, to the world. You know, you hear about this stuff happening at Disney World and all that, but oh, it's just a man's boat on bad. a trailer. That's just a man's boat on a trailer. There's <laughs> just a bunch of kids. Yeah. I mean, it's St. Thomas, guys. There's nothing else. I wouldn't even know what else you would do. I wouldn't. That's dangerous. There's that looks dangerous. Sitting on their like camp that chairs, trailer. camp chairs in the back of a trailer. Yeah, that With is a Christmas not. tree. <laughs> yeah, they a put a bow. Challenged elf handing out mm. candy. Don't let your kids take his candy. <laughs> oh, they all know him. <laughs> they all know him. Hey, He's, special Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they all know him. I forget what I had to do. I was in a parade once. You were Terrible. for like I think it was like Cub Scouts or something, and I remember taking it real seriously. Like, what a great honor this is! To oh be man, oh. there's a lot of work. I've I had to so MC the Santa Claus parade. Ooh. Like it was a back and forth. It was two of us. Well, up next we have the rotary float, looking wonderful. Ooh. Look oh, at really? that. that is oh, yeah. awful stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what really I would have needed a flask. I think, that's, I think that's what my friend has to do at his unfortunate oh. job. Because he has to do that. I just saw him do that. Yeah, he was just hosting one of these, unfortunately yeah. for him. Oh. I'm sure he had the time of his life, though. I'm sure he did. Oh, the reindeer look. Are oh. they made of chocolate? I don't know, man. That's like, they don't look right. Nope. They don't, don't look right. Oh, it. those are homemade. <laughs> homemade reindeer. But that is saying, a paper I'm slugging mistake. someone because I'm getting not the greatest view of this. I know. But that sounds rageous. It, like I said, it, uh, your your wires get all crossed up when it comes to kids. And I think grandparents, grandparents are the worst because to, to me, my parents were, not that they were terrible, but the Brister <laughs> didn't care. You know, he wouldn't have like killed someone for me. You know, he'll kill somebody. For his grandkids. grandkids, yeah. He'll kill them. 
He'll kill him. Me, it'd be like, character. I'd get, I'd be like, oh, yeah, some guy stole my bike and he kicked me. Well, you deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it was different. My life was different compared to, like, so when the grandkids, they'll kill somebody. Were you brought, brought to parades as a kid or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I think so. I, rem- I have some parade memories. Yeah, I do too. I have some dumb parade memories, but I'm from one of these small Canadian right. towns. Yeah, I'm, well, I grew up, you know, in Toronto, and there was always a gigantic parade there at, at Christmas time. So, oh man, down, yeah, never, the whole family, all brought. my cousins. I remember that. Santa came to the mall, and it was like he drove up. Everybody got oh, all yeah. excited. D- now he gets out of a helicopter. Oh, it's a helicopter yeah. now. They've really stepped it up. I yeah. believe he came out of like a oh, semi truck. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> in Toronto, it's called the original Santa Claus Parade. Yeah, they've been I doing bet it that's since a little better since than 1905. Saint well, it's Thomas. Toronto. It right. should be. Exactly. Man. I mean, there's no guarantees. They might just gather up all these St. Thomas floats and well, look at their reindeers compared to what we yeah. saw in St. Thomas. And that's yeah. like you know, that's a Santa. Yeah, like in yeah. 1905, it makes sense, right? Like, what an entertaining thing. What else? I mean, wow, wheels. Yeah. Things with wheels. <laughs> it's crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, there's better ways to be entertained. Mm-hmm. Yes, there is. Rate Dave and Chuck the Freak's Tasty Bits podcast on iTunes or Google Play. Subscribe now to Dave and Chuck the Freak's Tasty Bits podcast on iTunes or Google Play. This is a kind of a nutty story out of New York. A big guy is suing the New York City Library. He worked there. And he said they gave him a desk that was way too small for him, and it has traumatized him. Oh, yeah. That's how I feel. (laughs) So he's suing for $4.6 million. Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot. His tiny little desk traumatized him as a big man. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing? We got you a desk. Yeah, yeah, we got you a real small, it's tight squeeze. It's like one of those high school desks where it was like the chairs built in. That is crazy, those those desks. (laughs) There's the guy there. Oh, yeah, no, you got to get him a big desk. (laughs) This six foot two, 360 pound New York Public Library employee claims he was traumatized by being forced to work at a desk that was way too small. And he wants four point six million to make up for it. I need a bigger desk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what's that, sir? I need a bigger desk. No, we don't really have this. Everyone kind of works out of this desk area, so you just have to um, sit here with everybody. It's uncomfortable. I, well, I understand that, but then maybe then maybe this isn't the job. I need four point six million. <laughs> <laughs> that seems unreasonable. That seems quite unreasonable. I don't see where the math comes into how, play. Here. How do you little people do this? <laughs> William Martin's tale began in October 2021 when he was told he had to work at the first floor service desk seen here at the library on Fifth Avenue in Midtown. He had to work at the lower part of the desk. You see how tall that lady is? She's only 5'6". <laughs> yeah, this lady's on her kneecap yeah, almost is yeah. at the desk. I can't work at this tiny desk. Uh, this welcome desk features a staggered countertop with a roughly 12-inch drop and he said, as a big man, it was crampy. Why didn't he go to the lar- taller desk? Because this is where he was ordered yeah, to that's work his, from. Well, that's his workstation. I mean, it does okay, look uncomfortable. If we put you, Dave, at a tiny little desk, yeah, which like where I have been, but like you're, 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 I have to cross my legs in this direction in order to sit down. Like your legs wouldn't even be able to fit underneath. Like, if you had these keyboards yeah, is, that I deal yeah. with... Do you have keyboards underneath? You don't have no, anything. No, no, I have the... Where we plug our headphones into yeah. on either side. So, I it's... We got this thing here. What do you got down yeah, there? There's what? You can't, like, you can't stretch, stretch out. your legs out. Oh, oh yeah, no. So you have to up. go sideways. I got a man yeah. spread towards Lisa. We're going to yeah. have to... Yeah, we need a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. I need 4.6. Yeah. 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 Hey, I don't feel great. I got a lean. Got I got a lean. Over. What do you I got, got? I got a lean. Yeah. I got two you keyboard. Have any, uh... I got two keyboard things. Um, you know, mind you, I just can you but... stretch your legs out? No. Oh yeah, I got some. Yeah, well, he can go all the way under. This oh, is man. this we is can. We what out and here? Touching. Well, right here. We got Sucks. infrastructure underneath us. <laughs> Four point yeah. six. Yeah. Woo! There've been a couple of times I've been sliding around here and I hit a oh. knee. Oh. Money, just lots of it. Four point six. 
I came up with a random number. <laughs> four point six. Oh. <laughs> What's that on the pain scale? That's a four point six. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> ah. It's like a Richter scale. Oh, that's a 4.6. Yes. My knees. Oh, my knees. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if he hits his knee a couple more times, it's going up. Yeah, it's going up. Five. That's ah. <laughs> it's true. I'm like, I if like you it. slide in, like every, yeah. uh, so it happened to me just, I was at an event that had a, uh, you know, like those photo fold out tables, they put them up and I went to slide my chair in at this banquet and my knee hit one of the supports. I didn't realize oh. where like the leg was going to be. Oh. And I was like, ah, yeah. ah, <laughs> you better sell some more mustard, Julie. Ah. I do that. You better all the time. Oh. That is my life. It's dude. awful. That's my life. You remember it's my awful. knee? Oh, you better flatten out some chicken and dry it out. And really dry it. <laughs> sell a bunch. <laughs> Every time, just yell out. Four boys. Four boys. Oh. Every time I get hurt. <laughs> Every time. I like it when I get out of bed. My like one knee. I'm like, ah! Four point six. Oh, listen it. to that noise. <laughs> It no, makes like a creak, like an old piece of wood. <laughs> you guys know when I was in going to physical therapy for my knee, he said it was the way I was sitting at yeah, work is, that was the major it. contributor yeah. to it. Yeah. So when my back was a mess and, and it was like just devastated, uh, I was in a chair that used to have arms. And so the arms would you stop arms me now. here. And then I was like having to reach way over and so that's why my back was so on did you have a hunchback had, for a while i did i yeah. did and i was <laughs> yeah, getting you, one i uh, could not get i could get hard i mean yeah. that's, <laughs> I, that's just that's just normal yeah, okay. yeah, yeah that's my blood that. pressure that. that's don't my oh yeah that. don't no, no you're right don't say that <clears throat> yeah you're right yeah uh yeah it's not the blood pressure medicine uh no but when that happened my whole quality of work uh, physical life yeah. went way up they gotta bust those things out what is it there's nothing even there's down there anymore there no, the, all the computers are behind your monitors now. No, but there's no, wires there's, under there's, here. No, they always, they are, every time something goes wrong, they take a panel off. I know they look, something. but there's like, they take a panel off to look at one little thing that's like the size of like a, you know, a little box or something. Oh. They can bust all that out. So uh, they're back not going to, to this guy <laughs> in New York that's suing, um, he said, all I saw it was a desk with appropriate accommodation given my larger physical attributes. Yeah. His union eventually stepped in, helping him get assigned to a different desk within the library. But a couple of years later, he found himself in the same situation again. A new director was brought in and they ordered him back to work at the cramped first floor desk. Things only got worse after he complained, so he got a lawyer involved. I would just break it. He's probably so break. big that if he just got up real fast, he might pop that whole top of the desk right off. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing falls apart. Yeah, like, uh-oh, I broke it. <laughs> A few months later, he says he was falsely accused of sleeping on the job. Okay. <laughs> and later suspended, prompting him to ask for a transfer and seek medical leave for depression. Well, it's so boring. Yeah, you that not fall a, asleep there. That is crazy. I keep just thinking, like, you know who has millions to give him is the library. Oh, God. <laughs> not at all. No, not yeah, these the days. That's what he means. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, yeah. They're like, you could be three years late on a book, and it's 25 cents. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> We're not bringing in a lot of money. <laughs> this guy who once ran a sports blog called 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge claims his mental health has been damaged to such an extent then he just trembles at the thought of going back to work. <laughs> How you doing, Chucky? Heading back to work anytime no, soon? No, nah, no. I don't want to. I don't want to. I mean, that is how I wake up. You normally do that. You tremble every day. On the way in, you're like, oh. oh, oh what's it going to be today? Oh. <laughs> Not asking even Chuck the Freak. Ah! <laughs> That's your favorite. Oh, my I God. Oh, no, no. I love it. It's not right, is it? Martin is asking a judge to force the library to approve a leave, along with, of course, 4.6. Yeah. yeah. A spokesperson for the New York Public Library claims the case is without merit. 
saying we take employee accommodations and concerns with the utmost seriousness and we're dedicated to treating our staff across the library with fairness and respect. So, okay, so he's asking for 4.6, but realistically, anything they gave him, he'd be thrilled, right? Like, even if they were like, you're not getting 4.6, we're going to give you 250000 You'd be like, what? Yes. Well, that's why they do that, right? Like, that's oh, why yeah. they, like lawyers, that's a strategy. They scare theirs. people with right. the big number. Right. And then they settle out of it for much yeah. lower. But <laughs> I just, I mean, he's, he's, I admire, I admire his tactic. Oh, <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's right. I'm scared to go to work now. <laughs> I'm a trembling. I'm a trembling. I'm shaking. Traumatic. Yeah. But you, can't, you can't put like the Green Mile guy no. in a small desk. Right. No. no. But I don't know about 4.6. Did they think he no. was intimidating, almost like a library bouncer? That people wouldn't try stuff of a big guy? I, don't know. I think you'd like that. I mean, I think that's just nice. I wish we had a bouncer. <laughs> yeah, we don't. No. Can't afford one. No, no. <laughs> Nothing. I'm just saying, I mean, at least it's like, you know, you're not going to steal the DVDs when sure. he is on when the When he's watch. on the front desk. You know? All right. Uh, for this next story, we're off to the Netherlands. Where police found a two kilo garden gnome made entirely of ecstasy. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's the rave gnome. <laughs> yeah, I'm licking it. <laughs> I'm licking the gnome. Lick the rave gnome. Uh, they say they know that drugs come in many shapes and sizes. But every now and again, they come across something quite extraordinary. Lick my gnome, man. Yeah. <laughs> the Dongamond police in the Netherlands found a garden gnome made entirely of MDMA. He <laughs> said, from the looks of him, the gnome himself was visibly shocked by it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Police found the gnome along a large batch of drugs that were seized in the area. Because the little statue weighed nearly two kilos, they thought, well, that's odd. We better test that. And they did find that it was made entirely of MDMA. It's hilarious. So some raver was just like, give the techno gnome a lick. <laughs> You're like, just shave a little bit off into people. Open your mouth. I hope they don't just lick it. Yeah, I'm I sure they, they don't, don't just lick oh, it. Yeah. No, you yeah. probably Drugs can get gross. Yeah, there's a lot of just like. Not germs friendly. Yeah, just accepting right. of like a certain amount of spit. Spit for a good time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Uh, in the drug world. The uh, police didn't say exactly where and when the drug bust was made, but the Dongamon police base covers the municipalities of Oosterhout, Gertudenberg, oh, yeah. Drimelin, and Altanina. <laughs> Gertudenberg? Yeah, that place really <laughs> dropped off. Oh, my God. Yeah, Gertudenberg? Yeah, got a lot. The raves just uh, <laughs> took over, ruined everything. It's unique. Yeah, it's it very is. unique. I just want to know, though, how like how do I get my ecstasy out of it? Do I literally just chop a piece of it off? I'm sure that's how you do I'm it. I'm sure that's it, you know. I feel like that's a going to a, going to a big dog, like that's going to somebody that's slanging it. Oh, yeah, like to hide it. Like right, that's probably up. to hide it and yeah. give it to somebody else. Yeah. Because I always thought that it, something like this would be like uh, the cartel would squeeze like cocaine into the shape of, or you know. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Of a gnome or something like that. That's so much MDMA. Yeah, I mean, how much would that little gnome be worth? You think? <sighs> Man, it was two. Was, how much was it? So two was kilos, two pounds. Yeah, of it so four pounds. Four pounds. Two yeah, kilos. So much. Pounds. I mean, if you, especially if you. Br- not that I have lots of drug knowledge, but if you break it down by the pill. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, people have one pill and have a fairly decent night. Right. And in my day, it was like twenty dollars to thirty dollars a pill. Yeah. yeah. So, so a lot of money. A lot of money. All right, this seems like a dangerous place to be able to get married on a whim. The first wedding chapel located inside a liquor store. Finally, they've done it. Just opened in New Orleans. I used to say I'm not getting married again. Mm. Now I am. The store is called Chuck's. (gasps) Yes. And the venue itself is called Chuck's Chapel. Well, yeah. (laughs) Amazing. (laughs) Look how nice it is. They put in a small stage with a couple of church pews and a stained glass window. Elvis. It's right next to the refrigerated section where they sell 40s. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. When you walk down the aisle, you literally walk down an aisle of the store. 
Their first couple, as you saw there, got married over the weekend, and the officiant was an Elvis impersonator. So, yes, it's classy. Oh, it is. Chuck's on the avenue. Uh, Here's a little uh... liquor store wedding chapel is now open in New Orleans at Chuck's on the Avenue liquor store on St. Charles Avenue. The first couple to get married were from Donaldsonville, Louisiana. We just oh, love the drink so and it fitted in perfect when uh, Vince came out and told us about it. And we was like, yeah, let's do it. Owner Chuck that himself walked the beautiful bride <laughs> down the aisle to this gorgeous chapel right in the back of the liquor store next to the grab-and-go drinks. They had a flower girl throwing beads, super fan, who dat Elvis officiated the wedding. Who'd and Elvis? their first dance was, of course, to Elvis mm-hmm. Presley. Then there was a second line with a brass band going and down the liquor oh, no. aisles to outside where we pop bottles of champagne. That's fun. Not an ordinary wedding. Not an ordinary wedding. <laughs> Anybody want to get married to like that? It's one of right here because it's awesome. These weddings start at $500 and your reception can be held right there in the tasting rooms that hold up to 20 people. You get married and pick up your booths. We're all about love here. We're all about family. And New Orleans is the greatest city in the world. We have better city in the world to get married in. You're welcome to get married at Chuck's. Chuck drinks. The world. Of course, Chuck drinks, and so does the groom. <laughs> he admitted that him and his wife both love to drink. Oh, yeah. And that's sure. why they made yeah. this decision. He seems like he uh, was from a suburb super close to the bayou. Yeah, like you know, he's got that. half and half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like he's a little half and half. He almost got it, but he's not, a, not fully. Yeah, I couldn't understand him. You <laughs> saw his mom, right? I did. No. Yeah, his, wait. You'll see his mom here in a second. She poses for a photo with the happy couple. Okay. I got a brief glimpse of her. <laughs> You'll see. Her. Just wait. Oh, Hold on. So much to look at. There he is. Yeah. It's hard. Here we go. I think it's coming up soon. No, that's the no, that's, that's the bead girl. Big bead girl. Who that Elvis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, right. Come uh-huh. on. Get to your mom. Chuck, oh, there we go. We're going to go outside. That's when you see her. Okay. Yeah. We're headed out. Here she comes. Where is she? Son of a... There she is. Oh, Whoa. No, 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 no. They just, I mean, just... Are you okay, Chuck? No, I mean, if I could, if I had a still oh. shot of her, it'd be... Uh, I believe it's a real tragedy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't even think that was a person at first. I thought it was like the image of a spirit or something. <laughs> like, I just saw like a head like being between them that I, could, yes. I couldn't tell. I thought it was like a Harry Potter character. She was like, Meh. like Do- Dobby or whatever. That Go was. play Spot the Mom at DaveAndChuckTheFreak.com. Oh. And through links in our social media pages, you can play Spot the Mom. See if you see who we're talking about in this clip of this first ever <sighs> wedding at a liquor store in New Orleans. Something. That's wild. Wow. That was something. Super wild. Mm. I was married in New Orleans, but not at a liquor store. Oh, no. <laughs> you classed it up a bit more than yeah, that. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I, I assumed. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? No. Something's gone really wrong in Lisa's life if she's getting married. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that lady that is getting married in this story is a liquor store bride, if I ever saw one. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And he's no he's no prize either. No, no. no. Liquor store I, I, I mean, can't. I still would have tried to talk her out of it. They are liquor store folk. If I, if liquor I store were folk. her friend, <laughs> I would have been like, you can't. Don't. You can't marry that guy. Have you seen his mom? I know. I know. Have you seen his mom? Ooh, briefly. You get the picture. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you Okay. <laughs> you got to probably wrestle mom away you know, from that grab and the go. the memes where you're like watching a movie and then that thing pops up and scares the hell out of people? <laughs> yeah. That's yes. what it's like. Yes. The mom yes. jumped into the That's photo. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Yep. You'd run away screaming. <sighs> well, it is generally not good to call 911 for a non-emergency situation, but sometimes they go along with it. Like in this story where in Wisconsin, a 10-year-old called 911 for help with his math homework and they actually decided to help him out that story from wdbj tv we do a lot of stuff with the community we have a great community here in shano county they they support us and we support them when whenever we can it all happened last friday when 911 dispatcher kim kraus received an unexpected call she says she will never forget a 10-year-old boy who she says was very sincere about getting help with his assignment. He said, you know, ma'am, I know I'm not supposed to call 911 for this, but I really could use some help with my homework. I asked, well, what can I help you with? And 
He's like, it's math. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I've been out of school for over 40 years. So I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can help you with this, but we'll find somebody. Since the department was not busy at the time, they decided to respond. I actually sent a uh, message to the deputy who was responding, and I said, you got a lot of pressure on you right now to help this little boy with his math homework. The responding deputy was Chase Mason who stayed and helped the young caller complete his decimal-based math homework. Ooh. Both Sheriff Lenzner yes, yes, and yes. Lieutenant Madel complimenting no Deputy Mason for his help in serving his community. This morning when I came to work, I, I told our lieutenant that's in charge of the Facebook, I said, let's put this on Facebook. This is, a, this is one of those feel-good stories that people need every once in a while. I'm just real proud of uh, Deputy Mason. That shows the impact that um, positive law enforcement stories can have in a small community. So we have a very supportive community. We always have. They're very law enforcement friendly. Um, and it's good for us to kind of show the side that may not people may not always see. Andy, we are Andy, looking. Andy, call 911. I'm bleeding out. 911. Now, it's busy. Oh, it's busy. How do I I'm trying to call Andy, him, dude. I'm it. trying to. I'm cutting a really still busy. Spot. I think they only got one lady working there. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you're, yeah, that's a lot of blood. Oh, dude. That seems like it's all gone. Oh, now it's just a drip. We're losing him. That's just, oh, that's. Call back, Andy. That's, I'm trying nothing. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Life. Yeah. Life is weird. That's how it works. Beautiful tale. <laughs> yeah. That is, he didn't get one of the like mean nine one one workers that is like, calm down, oh yeah, calm down. <laughs> Where are you at? Right. Yeah. Where's the decimal at? <laughs> Move it to the left. <laughs> right. Some some mean one be like, get over there and arrest that little kid. Teach him a lesson. Oh, of course. True. What's terrible is that that guy probably helped do the math, but it's the new math. It's and the new so math. when yeah. he brought it into school. They were like, that's not how we do math anymore. The new math. Wait till you have to do something. Yeah, look out. I'm I don't scared. know anything about the new math. No, none of us do. Frightening. None of us do. And it's terrible. I still draw the ancient division symbol. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Ancient. <laughs> draw, yeah. Well, you should have 12 columns there. <laughs> Why don't you have 12, 12 columns? columns. Mm-hmm. Yep. You don't have 12 columns? Mm-hmm. You didn't show your work the way you're yeah. supposed to show it now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> it is. It's a totally different world now when yep. it comes to doing math. Everything is different. Y'all heard of Rapunzel syndrome? No. No. Well, this teenager in Massachusetts has now, after a month of unexplained bouts of stomach pain, an otherwise healthy 16-year-old girl arrived at the emergency department of Massachusetts General Hospital actively retching in severe pain. Damn. CAT scan showed nothing unusual in her innards, and her urine and blood tests were normal. The same thing that they found two weeks earlier when she had arrived at a different hospital complaining of stomach pain. She was discharged home with instructions to take painkillers, a medication for ulcers, and another to prevent nausea and vomiting. The painkiller didn't help. She didn't even try the two other medications. Her pain worsened. Something was clearly wrong. When she arrived at Mass General, her stomach was tender. Her heart rate elevated. When doctors tried to give her a combination of medications for common causes of abdominal pain, She immediately threw them back up. Mm. So the doctors realized they had a mystery they had to figure out. They moved on to one of the rarer possibilities. Doctors recounted how they combed through a list that included all sorts of disorders, many of which could be dismissed fairly easily. And they realized something else was going on. Rapunzel syndrome was the possibility. What is that? This girl kept eating her own hair. Oh, mm. yeah. That's not good. Doctors suspected that a bezoar had formed in her stomach. A bezos? A be- not a bees, not a little Jeff Bezos. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's bald. A bezoar growing over time and blocking the passage of food causing pain. A bezoar is a foreign mass formed from accumulated material that has been ingested. It can form from a clump of dietary fiber or from a glob of pharmaceutical products or iron. And the other option is a tangle of hair. Gross. Hair yeah. is resistant to digestion and it's not easily moved through the digestive system. 
As often happens, it gets lodged in the folds of the gastric lining and then traps food and gunk to form a mass. Over time, it grows into a thick, matted wad. Of all the bezoars, this is the most common. What do you um? What do you have to do? They have to go in there and get it. Surgery, I think. And yeah. Pulverize it. They realized they put a, had to put a scope down, and they got a clear shot of that. We got a Bezos. Oh, no, it's a Bezos. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Grab it by its head. <laughs> Yank it's, it out of there. It's so wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a giant sailboat. It's got its own little yacht. <laughs> In her case, it came out during surgery using uh, a tube. They recovered a hairball two and a half inches wide. Oh, man. Uh, that's a lot of hair. Now they got to figure out the psychiatric disorder that's causing the hair eating behavior. It's not good. Sometimes it's linked to a disorder marked by hair pulling. I can understand pulling your hair. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I'm assuming everyone in this room, if a hair just even touches the, your mouth... Like that, like the desire to get a piece of hair out of your, out mouth, of your mouth is yeah. just so it's high. Yeah. The worst. Like your body knows. It's like, no, we can't. You can't eat that thing. You want to see this? Yeah, I do. I want to see the Bezos. <gasps> there it is. Oh, Look at that filthy Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> well, disgusting. That's disgusting, dude. Disgusting. Look at its green. Oh, God, that's so gross, you guys. Look at it. Like bile? We got to get it out of there before it goes to space. <laughs> It Quick, looks, get the Yeah, I mean, it looks like a dead baby mouse over there on the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's horrible. That's, oh, that's, that's awful. Yeah. A bezoar. You have a bezoar. <laughs> yeah, also known as Rapunzel syndrome. Yeah, I was like, I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, okay, which one is Rapunzel? Is that the one that had the hair, long hair. the long mm-hmm. hair, and yeah. let it down? I'm yep. like, what is this person doing? Yep. Eating it. Gross. So now they got to figure out why she's eating her hair. Yeah, it's probably not good. No, no, it's you know? probably not. But she did plan to see a hypnotherapist, they say. Well, that works every time. <laughs> Hopefully it works for her, <laughs> right? Oh, I, hope so. I, mean, I hope so. I hope so. She does something. She doesn't need another you know, gigantic hairball in her. No. Coming up, what's up with the Asians? What odd thing did a South Korea man do to try and avoid mandatory military service? Let's get to that. It's time now for What's Up With The Asians. A court in South Korea has found a man guilty of trying to avoid mandatory military service by deliberately eating like a pig and gaining a ton of weight. (laughs) (laughs) Chevy. <laughs> what do you mean you ate too much? I ate too much. You're not going to be able to do anything. They call it a mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating right now hey, in the interview. <laughs> I cannot uh, pick up a gun. I don't think you got what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> no. The 26-year-old began binge eating before his physical examination for the draft. Let me do a pull up. Yeah, I, yeah, no, you're not going to do. Not going to do at all. I fail. Yeah, you did. He was then categorized as obese. You're obese. <laughs> which would allow him to serve in only non combat roles mm-hmm. at the government agency. Oh. Just do safe work. Man, <laughs> I'd, I'd be beaten too. Are I you know, kidding right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I guess I'm not ready for the <laughs> yeah, No. No. The defendant received a one year suspended sentence. A friend. Who devised a special regimen that doubled or tripled at times his daily food intake. Yeah, became a gravy seal. Got a (laughs) six-month suspended sentence. So the friend helped him set this up. All able-bodied men in South Korea over the age of 18 must serve in the army for at least 18 months. It's mandatory. Mm. So he was assessed as fit for combat duty during his initial physical exam. But in his final examination, he weighed in almost 100 pounds heavier at 225 pounds, making him heavily obese. 
He was 120 heavy. pounds? He to was start? I guess they said almost 100 pounds heavier. Oh, my huh? God. That is a lot. Can you that eat 100 lot, pounds a in a year? It was a full yes. year. Yes, 1,000 percent. Yes. <laughs> it's super easy to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think train. I've done it. <laughs> I could train people up to do this. No problem. The man who recommended binge dieting had denied the charge of aiding and abetting, saying he never believed his friend would go through with it. Yeah, that's so crazy. this guy gets a one year suspended sentence and the friend got a six month suspended sentence. But both now have to serve their full time. In the military. Yeah. I'm just trying to think like, so if, if I took myself, which is basically around the same weight as this guy, and I lost 100 pounds off of my body, I would just be bone. Yeah. Look like me. I don't, I think I'd look, I think I'd be skinnier than you. Yeah, oh, for sure. 125 yeah. pounds? Oh, yeah, more than that. That's yeah. what I mean. But I couldn't gain 100 pounds. Yes, you could. No, I couldn't. I'll get you there. Nonstop ice cream? No. I'll get That's you my there. life. I mean, yeah. I have candy for breakfast. That's true. I don't yeah. know what to tell you. <laughs> we didn't do you it. there. No, you need more chocolate milk if you really Yeah. Serious. Are you serious about Speak this? Speak to the specialist. Are you serious <laughs> about this? Are you even serious? <laughs> yeah. Are you even serious <laughs> about bulking up? <laughs> I'm done. All right. No. You know, hey, this basketball thing, you better... You better oh. put those shoes away, my friend. Mm-hmm. Sit on the couch. Yeah. Get on the couch. Bro. Yeah. Move. You ever played a video game? Mm-hmm. You sit there and you shut up and yeah. you drink this sugary <laughs> pop all night. Right. I'd rather go to the army than listen yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, but if you shut want to drink up, stay mm-hmm. still and eat all this pudding. Welcome to Fat Camp. <laughs> eat it all. Don't you move. <laughs> and he did. Go to sleep now. <laughs> yeah, go right to sleep. Go right to sleep. Oh, yeah. Eat as much as you can. Go right to sleep. I can get you, Hugh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Eat that pizza and go to bed. <laughs> go right to sleep. Wake up halfway through. Eat some more. Go back to bed. <laughs> Wonderful advice. Yeah, we'll get you fat. Thanks for checking out the Dave and Chuck the Freak Tasty Bits podcast. If you want to hear the entire Dave and Chuck the Freak show from today, subscribe and download the podcast now from the Apple Podcast app or the Google Play Store.